Well, it doesn't get any more official than this, my friends. The legendary John Romero, one of the masterminds and creators behind the franchise of Doom, has absolutely destroyed anything and everything we know about the lore, history, and timeline of Doom. My hundreds of videos, death, Doom Wiki, annihilated, Doom World, destruido a la verga me vale verga way. I'm currently working on a video about the whole unfiltered timeline of Doom. Join the Patreon to watch it early. And well, now I have to scratch everything and start over. As I was taking the SNES Doom manual as canonical. Thanks, Romero. Very cool. No mames, wait, te mamaste. Muy chido. I hope you are well. Ah, now let's do something funny. If this video reaches 5,000 likes, I'll bring John Romero over to the channel for an interview. So, you know, absolutely destroy the like button. Punch it like and subscribe to see that interview. Thank you. One thing that is also extremely funny is how you do not own a rich wallet. The rich wallet is fucking awesome. It's slick, sharp, doesn't take up any space and it's ready to kick some demon ass. Use code MIDNIGHT at checkout and get 10% off your order. I've been using this wallet for over two years and believe me, they are goddamn amazing. So if you want to support the channel, support the Rich Wallet. Thank you to Rich Wallet for sponsoring this video. This is the only day you can retweet this. Supposedly, the original Doom storyline takes place in March 2022, which of course is spreading around the internet. No shit, I had a pretty cool skit planned out for that date, but now it is absolutely meaningless. Quick question, should I upload that skit? I think it's pretty funny. Please let me know down below in the comment section. The source of this date can be traced back to the manual for the SNES version of the game, which clearly shows March 15th, 2022 on the cover. And this is true, if you follow the Doom console timeline, the SNES version of Doom is the origin of the story. It is the beginning of the end, and Jordan Romero has officially debunked that. Doom does not take place in March 2022. 22. Doom is timeless. Somehow, the manual for the Super Nintendo Doom had a date in it, but that date did not come from anyone at its software. And you might be thinking, my friends, if it is stated on a manual of an official Doom release, then how it is not canon? Well, we have to take many things into consideration. 1. Doom came out in an era where game developers didn't care that much if their video game contained a well thought out storyline. Back then, the industry focused more on the gameplay and tech innovations. That's why Doom and Quake are so revolutionary, because they pushed the industry forward with their new tech. Number 2. Doom was released in more platforms than you can think of. Doom is one of the most widely ported video games. It beats Resident Evil 4 and it beats Skyrim. That's a lot. Since the original MDOS version, it has been released officially for a number of operating systems, video game consoles, handheld consoles and other devices. Back in the 90s, Doom was released on Solaris, Mac OS, Linux, Windows, Sega 32X, Atari Jaguar, SNES, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and many, many, many more devices. God damn, those are a lot of ports, my boy. Each port was made by a different company. Some of the ports are replications of the DOS version, while others differ considerably, including modifications to the level designs, demons, and game engine, with some ports offering content not included in the original DOS version. By my understanding, out of all of the different ports and releases, the SNES version of Doom, the Super Nintendo version of Doom, the SNES version of Doom was the only one that set a date for the event. That transpired in the story, the invasion of Hell on Mars and the invasion of Hell on Earth. But because this port was not made by anyone at its software, it is not considered canon. Well, Fuck me. And here's the thing, my friends. Prior to Doom 3, what is considered canon in the franchise of Doom? This has to be one of the most difficult questions to answer, as there are many many iterations of the timeline. You have the timeline where you take Doom 3 into consideration, the timeline where you do not take Doom 3 into consideration, the Doom console timeline, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Super Nintendo, the Doom Redcon timeline, the Doom RPG timeline, and last but not least, the Doom reboot timeline. There's just so many things to take into consideration. Trying to come up with a good, understandable, linear timeline for Doom is actually very hard. It's like Dark Souls level of convoluted and weird. In my opinion, 
the original canonical timeline is the one from the reboot of Doom, that being Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. The problem here is coming up with the backstory of the Doom Slayer. We know he is original Doom guy, that they see exists and that Doom 64 is a direct prequel to Doom 2016, but anything before Doom 64 is a convoluted mess. Even Doom and Doom 2 have contradictory events. In the original Doom, Doom guy reaches the earth via a teleporter from hell, and in Doom 2, Doom guy reaches the earth via a spaceship, and the existence of Doom RPG doesn't help with this mess. There are even different iterations of Doom guy. One is a direct descendant of BJ Blazkowicz, another is named Stan Blazkowicz, another is named Flame Taggett, and is the protagonist of the Doom comics, and the other one is John Kane. There are so many iterations of Doom Guy and so many conflicting events that I think that there is an actual multiverse going on, and Doom Eternal talks about the multiverse theory. It's actually the only way to explain it, but maybe, just maybe, I'm just reading too much into it. If you want a clear, unfiltered timeline of the badass marine lineage, Tom Hall, one of the original creators of Doom, has us covered. Originally, I had, if I recall correctly, 1940s B.A. Blazkowicz, 1960s Arthur Newcaster, 1980s Billy, eh, 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 way later, eh, Doom guy, although this was very patriarchal for these three. I had it that being a hero skips every other generation. The hero skips every other generation. Mm. Doom guy is a JoJo confirmed. Anyways, now that there's not an official date as to when the events of the original Doom take place, when do you think the invasion of Hell on Mars and Hell on Earth takes place? I believe it takes place after the year 2100. Something along those lines. Interplanetary teleportation just seems very far off to me, bro. And it is a shame that I may never experience that on my lifetime. But yes, the original Doom takes place somewhere around the same date as Doom 3, Doom, and Doom Eternal. The universes might be different, but the date might be the same. This is one of the main reasons why I believe the original Doom deserves a remake, to tie in everything perfectly. But that would be a video for another time. Thank you for watching this video. It's okay, my spotters. Please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and a dislike if you disliked the video. It is completely fine, my friends. Remember, 5,000 likes, and I'll pitch a message to John Romero to get him into the channel for an interview. I think that would be pretty goddamn awesome. If that interview ha happens, I'm going to upload it first to my Patreon, so please support me there if you want to. Once again, this this video is sponsored by The Rich Wallet. Thank you. It's okay, my friends. Have an awesome Thursday. Stay safe. Stay home. Adios. Bye.